To see the future of our county and indeed our nation, one needs to look no further than the students of DeKalb County's Class of 2014, represented by this year's recipients of the Education Scholarship Fund. A total of 24 students were selected to receive as much as $5,000 each as a salute to their academic success and their aspirations to use that success as seeds, planting the future of service through their lofty pursuits of career and of philanthropy. There's this issue with the world right now where not enough people are getting access to health care and to medication and like to treatment to cure their ailments. Like my mother, She's like, she doesn't, she cannot afford like a stable health care plan. And so it's just so saddening to see her like cry out in pain because her back hurts and her arm hurts and she's worked so hard. And yet no one is willing to provide her with the treatment that she deserves. And so I want to change that. From launching a tutoring program serving her peers today to plans of becoming a pharmacist or a neurosurgeon to address inequities in healthcare across the globe in the future, V. Wynn plans to shape the nation using the education she's received right here in DeKalb County. Those jobs might give me like a revenue and such, but I'm ultimately going to save that revenue and I'm going to go back and become an ambassador in these third world developing countries. And I also want to start writing because I want to get like the word out that this is happening in other countries like human trafficking and all those other things that people should be aware of. The daughter of Vietnamese refugees, Wynn says her appreciation for education comes from witnessing the struggle and commitment of her parents. I, I try to value these things like if I was in Vietnam I wouldn't have the same opportunities. Like college, something that like they couldn't do because of the communist regime in um, Vietnam which didn't allow like the children of soldiers to go to college. They're just so proud of me right now. And I just really love the fact that I can be able to make them proud. PTSA Honor Roll and Statement Award recipient Alexis Davis also found pride and confidence in self through her academic pursuits in the classroom. It's been a hard four years to say the least. I moved from a private school to a public school, so that was a big difference for me. And I, my school has the IB diploma, so that's like totally different than regular school. So it's been a struggle, but I'm number 60 in my class out of 200, so I'm totally proud of myself. Without, without my mom and without my counselors, I wouldn't be here today. But perhaps this scholarship and her academic achievements are best acknowledged through the realization that her late father shares in that sense of pride in this peer mentor and budding orthopedic surgeon's accomplishments achieved thus far. I feel like he's so proud of me because he knows that in eighth grade was so hard for me because that was the year he died. Eighth grade was so hard, but now I've learned to progress and I've learned that time management and School is my first priority. People are there, but school is my first priority. First we go to school, then we can go shopping. First we do schoolwork and then we do other stuff, so he'll be so proud of me. While these stories are nothing short of incredible, they're not out of the ordinary for the class of 2014. That's why the Education Fund, now in its second year, was created to partner the DeKalb Chamber of Commerce, DeKalb School District, Decatur City Schools, and DeKalb County Government to award scholarship dollars to students based on need and merit. Today really uh, represents us all coming together for one strategic goal, which is to invest in our youth. Some of the biggest things that, that stood out to me about the, the applicants and then also the recipients is, is one, truly just the enormous amount of need. Um, some of our students are, are, are really coming from some uh, financially challenged um, homes in terms of when you look at the, the, uh, the household incomes and, and, and yet it also dispels the myth that you can, just because you're perhaps impoverished that you, you can uh, have high academic standards, that you can achieve, that you can have big goals and big dreams and high aspirations. And as the price of tuition continues to rise, so does the challenge for some of our county's greatest minds, making this year $65,000 in scholarship awards that much more key to the success of students like Wynn and Davis.
I'm going this summer to um, a program at Georgia Southern called Eagle Incentive. And without this scholarship, I probably would not be able to go because I live in a single parent household and we also take care of my grandpa who has Alzheimer's. So now it's my mom who takes care of everybody. So it's just me and her. And right now without that scholarship, I, have, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have gone. Thank you guys for giving me the scholarship. I was, I got the email and I just started crying and class. I was like, oh my God, I got a scholarship. This year's scholarship also sends our graduates off into the world with a profound sense of pride the community collectively has for them as evidenced through this public-private partnership. I also want to thank our sponsors, our corporate sponsors who contribute the money. I'm not sure that there's any other scholarship like this anywhere, not just in the state, but in the, in the nation where you have corporate sponsors developing this partnership uh, with public entities, the CAP government, the DeKalb County School District, as well as our local chamber to celebrate our young people. It gives me like a bit of pride because I, I always hear about Gwinnett and like Fullerton and there, all that. And the kids there, like I have a couple of friends in each county and they're always bragging about oh, how their county is doing this and that and this and that. And I wasn't really like, I didn't have a sense of pride in where I came from. And I realized that was the fault. Like I, st I started to realize in order to succeed, you have to have like a, like a knowledge of where you came from. That's why I have so much pride in this school, in this county, and in the people that support me in this place. The cap is still where my pe the people I love live, so I'm really proud of it. There is no greater investment than in our uh, children, uh, our youth. Uh, many people say that they are our future, but I believe that our youth are our present, they are right now, and they uh, add real value to our county right now. Wow.